All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Uh, please invite your friends. We have our uh, guest will be with us uh, all right, hello, very everyone. soon. Um, in about four minutes from now, I'm going to call him. Uh, <clears throat> look like I don't have many waiting here. Uh, maybe people are used to the other account. But anyway, uh, Sheikh Ruhi is going to be with us in four minutes from now. So please invite your friends and share the link with as many as you can. And um, we pray that today is going to be a good day for the truth. It doesn't matter who is holding the truth. If it is the Muslims, <clears throat> then let it be for them. It's for us, then let it be for us. When I debate, there's no topic. The topic is Islam, and for sure he can ask me whatever he wants. Uh, this is a real debate, not a preset debate. And there's a huge difference between preset debate and real debate. Preset debate is no debate. You know, if you know what the topic, it's mean you know what the questions, it's mean you go and it's, you know, do some search and copy paste some answers. We don't do that. All right. This is against my rules. Real debate is somebody cutting you in surprise with his questions. And then people will notice if he is or this guy is a qualifier or not. Correct? <clears throat> Otherwise, this is what, what kind of debate is debate? Those debates you see uh, uh, online, people, they set up a date and topic two months in advance and then everybody he go on the stage and he start reading what is written in his computer this is not a debate this is a joke <clears throat> so i don't do that uh he can ask me whatever he wish and i will ask him whatever i wish actually i'm not going to ask him anything all my questions is going to be based on what he will say to me so he better be careful about what he will say let us say I have a rule. It says everything you use or you say is going to be used against you in the court of law. <laughs> as simple as that. <clears throat> say nothing. I have nothing to say. You know. Um, if you notice, when Muslims they call me, I don't have really ready questions, and I'm not I'm not prepared for anything because I don't know what the guy will say. So what we will ask him, we'll say, okay, introduce yourself, tell us what Islam is about, and we will see what he will say. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Let us invite our friends, please. Share in YouTube. And uh, Facebook. Let us invite as many as we can. We have one minute left, actually, to call our guest. And as I said, we will we will treat him with respect. And this is this is not a kid, you know. This guy, uh, you know, he is coming here willingly. Uh, so we will respect him and we will take care of him. However, we will not respect. I don't respect anything not to be respected. I will respect him as a person. Right. The topic is different story. The person is different story. All right. Uh, let us see. <clears throat> I'm making just a last post in um, in Facebook. Just to be sure that everybody uh, is with us. And we give them a chance to join us. One minute and I will give the gentleman the call. It's funny that there is somebody sending me invitation for my debate. That's a good one. <clears throat> 
<coughs> All right, I guess uh, I made my post and now we can call Mr. Rohi. Let us see, ask him if he is ready. <coughs> <clears throat> I ate some hot food, so it's uh, my throat is dry already. <laughs> All right, I'm calling him. Hello. Hello. Uh, do you hear me, uh, Sheikh Rohi? Hello? I hope he can hear me. We are live. This guy is inviting me to his room. Hello? You know what? He's not talking. <clears throat> He's inviting me to a, a chat room. I don't want to go to a chat room. Maybe Rene should not explain to him. Did you explain to him, Rene? This guy is asking me to come to a chat room. What does that mean? We said I will call him here in private. And why he is not talking? Why he's, uh, you know, he, I called him and he's not talking. Uh, no, no, you know, we agreed for pal talk, it's just to, for uh, <clears throat> to call. And I'm not sure why he's not been answering because his mic is open. Hello? Yeah, Sheikh Rohi. Maybe he back up? Well, I hear nothing from you. Are you talking? Okay, hold on. Let me hang up one of him. Let's see, see what the problem. Maybe there's a problem. <clears throat> Maybe the guy is telling the truth. Let us see. Let me check the preference of Pal Talk and see if the audio is. <clears throat> All right, let us see. Speaker out, uh, build in a word. Building output. Okay. Maybe that will fix the problem. Let us see again. <clears throat> Hello? Hello?
الو يا شيخ روحي تسمعني اوكي كان يو توك All right, but I don't hear you. Are you talking? Okay, let me see what the problem. Let me give let me give you a call back. Hold on. I'm not sure what is the problem. Hold on. Okay. Let us restart. I will restart my pal talk. <coughs> Please invite your friends, guys. We will start in a second. Let me check the audio again. Okay, look like everything is fine. Let us do it now. Uh, he's restarting his pal talk too. No, he's trying, you know. I hope he will be back soon. Please invite your friends, guys. And uh, I hope that the call will work. He is in Egypt, so don't be nervous. Me? Why I would be nervous? <laughs> what do you mean by nervous? You mean don't be aggressive? Maybe you are using the wrong word. <clears throat> I'm waiting for him to look back. He, he said he will restart. Maybe he's restarting the whole computer. Last time I was debating a shake, I was doing the, my dishes. And if you watch the video, you will hear it. The water was running. People, they asked me, you were in the bathroom? I said, no, I was, I was doing dishes. But at that time, I used to, I was having a wire, you know, like a wireless headset. So I can go around, not like now. I mean, I'm now stuck. Honestly, I was doing dishes. Two scholars, not one. And then now he is still offline. I think he is restarting the whole computer. Please, guys, invite your friends. Let us have as many as we can. And don't forget, to please, to subscribe to this uh, channel because temporarily we will do our live broadcast here. And I will post videos in uh, Arabian Prophet. And always remember, if I ever lose an account, you know how to find me, right? You go to Patreon, and then you will see there an update. Patreon, Facebook, you know, you know, I mean, this is the... Those are the security. He's back online, so let us call him. I hope it's going to work. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Yeah, Sheikh Ruhi, this money? No, I'm Masmak. Salam, yeah, Sheikh Ruhi. I hear you. All right. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, Sheikh, as you know, we will speak in English because all the audience are English people, as you know, English speaking people. So, uh, yeah, I hear you. Uh, go, go ahead. Let us see if everything is working fine. Yes, welcome. Right. welcome. Uh, uh, Sheikh Rohi, do you have like a Facebook or something so I can introduce you to the audience? Do you have a Facebook page? 
Yes, yes. If you can, if you can, Facebook. if you can post it for me, please, in uh, in uh, in the in the impal talk, so I can show it in the screen, uh, so everybody will know who is Sheikh Rohi, and you know, and if you please, if you introduce yourself, so people will know uh, who is Sheikh Rohi. Go ahead, please. Yes, but uh, I don't uh, write in uh, anything in my Facebook. Oh, okay, no problem. Just uh, I mean, I mean, if you'd like to tell people here, uh, because I told them I'm going to debate Sheikh Rohi. He is from Egypt. So, do you like to introduce yourself, or we just to go straight to the topic? No, we go straight to the topic. All right. I will. You are my guest. So, tell me, like people here, they are interested to know why Islam is religion of God. What make you sure, as a Sheikh, as a Muslim Sheikh? And you know, uh, like for sure, you have a special way to present Islam because you are a person who is educated about Islam, and uh, you are qualified to teach Muslim about Islam. So for sure, you can give us a better answer. What is the reason for you to believe in Islam? Uh, first, I uh, I said to your friend that uh, this class was in Arabic because. Uh, and yani maybe in my English is it not enough, but mm. I will. I try to talk in English uh, as I can. Right. Why? Why? Uh, thank, you. thank you. Yeah. Why I am Muslim? Oh, because uh, my God, our God, sent uh, tranquility in uh, our heart. So God said in chapter 48, Ayah 4, right. uh, he, It is who sent down tranquility into the heart of the believers that they might have more of faith added to, her, to the, their faith. Right. Uh, also, because God said in the chapter 17, Ayah 78, Wa Qur'an al-Fajri, inna Qur'an al-Fajri kana mashhuda. Translate, and I swear by the morning prayer and reading for the prayer and reading in the morning, carry their testimony. Uh, so if uh, we look at those who pray the morning prayer, we will find on their face uh, freshness, uh, vitality, and uh, splendor, uh, splendor show to everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, also, because Islam absolved the former prophet of the char uh, charges that uh, ascri uh, ascribed to them. Uh, for example, Nuh uh, drank wine and practiced adultery uh, with his daughters, God forbid. Uh, for example, uh, Solomon Nuh, he did that? Nuh, he did that? Nuh? Uh, yeah. Yes, oh, yes. Okay. Nuh did that in Torah. Mm -hmm. uh, Solomon Solomon uh, prostrate to the idols to satisfy his wives, God forbid. Uh, Aaron made the calf for uh, Israelites and uh, taught them uh, to the polytheism. Uh, also, why, if you ask why you are Muslim, why you love Islam, because some religions have presented a false theory of the human soul, such that man is sinner by nature, therefore impossible for man to be cleansed, uh, whatever he did, efforts. But Allah said in chapter 95 in the Holy Quran, لَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقْوِيمٍ We created man in the best design. Uh, and so, thank you. All right. Well, you know, you said, Mike. okay, here we come. Uh, you said that, uh, you know, that uh, Allah, he sent the Sakina and the coolness. Like when you are a Muslim, you feel like you are cool and you feel that you are, uh, 
uh, you have a trust but this is was well, not the case for your prophet if you go to the Quran in chapter 10 verse number 94 it says فَإِن كُنْتَ فِي شَكٍ مِمَّا أَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ فَاسْأَلَ الَّذِينَ يَقْرَؤُونَ الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ So the Prophet himself, the Prophet of Islam, yeah. he was not sure that he is a Prophet yet, but yet he have almost the half of the Quran delivered to him. So how you say to me that you as a believer, Allah, he gave you the confidence, but your Prophet himself is not confident, and Allah is making a verse for him saying, well, if you don't believe me, Go and ask the Christians and the Jews before you, which mean obviously Muhammad himself is confused if he is a prophet yet or not. To the point, uh, uh, it is it is something reach out to Allah, and Allah Himself He needed to give him like a warning, you know what, uh, a correction. If you don't believe, go and ask the Christians and the Jews. And you know, and I know, that your prophet, he was rejected by the Christians and the Jews. So he was not confident about himself being a prophet. In the same time, the one who is using the word shek, and you know what shek means. You are in doubt, you are in suspicion. If you what we sent to you is from God, uh, as the Christians and the Jews. So the question will be then, why your prophet was in suspicion of what he is receiving to be from God, but yet you are confident? Yes, Sheikh. Hello. Do you need time to think or yeah. something? Okay, I, I lost. Hello. You. Yeah, now we hear you. Yeah. Okay, can you go ahead? I, we heard nothing. Start again. Please. Okay. Yeah. I'll, thank you. Do, do I need to Allah repeat anything? Don't... Do I need to repeat anything? Did you hear me or everything I said? Yes. All right. Go ahead. Yes. Okay. Allah don't say to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam go and ask uh, the people of the book. Uh, not uh, يعني, uh, ask him uh, to ask. So uh, uh, Bible and Torah not uh, word of Allah. Not word of Allah. How the prophet go and uh, ask him to this? What do we mean by the word of God? Uh, at least in Arabic or in Quran. We mean that we read the words as God uh, literally has said it. I will give you an example. Now, when we read Hamlet's novel of Shakespeare or uh, Dombey and the son for Charles Dickens or the battle of life when I read it I read by Arabic language so there are uh, not the word of Charles Dickens or the words of Shakespeare but this is the word of the translator who translated this novel into Arabic okay but if I read Shakespeare's book in English I would have read Shakespeare's own words completely. When you read Bible now, I uh, Torah now, I read it by English language, uh, but Jesus said it by Aramaic language, so it is not word of Allah. Uh, Bible and Torah not words of God, as He said it uh, literally, but it is. A translator words that he translates the Bible into English but in Quran there is different uh, situation because we read God's words as he said it exactly no character has been changed why because Allah said in chapter 8 uh, 70 verse 6 سَنُقْرِئُكَ we will make you recite so you shall not forget but we don't read the Torah and the Bible in the original uh, language. So when Allah said, go and ask uh, people of the book, he don't mean ask them uh, true. Uh, do you understand me? Yeah, but my friend, uh, first of all, uh, uh, Allah is asking Muhammad to go and witness to himself as a prophet if he is not sure to go and ask the Christians and the Jews and if we don't have a book at that time so Allah is 
asking him to go to us under what authority which mean what authority I have to tell a prophet of God that you are a prophet when I am NOT a person who have a book as you said secondly you assume that all the Christians in the world didn't have the book written in the original language which is not true because we have people who read the Bible in, in Aramaic actually the people around Muhammad and I can give you many names who you used to read the Bible in Aramaic including even what I'm gonna he used to translate from the Aramaic Bible to the Arabic and this is a proven is is is, is exist in the hadith so the Aramaic Bible is exist the Hebrew Bible is exist and the Hebrew people the the the, the Jews and then now they recite uh, uh, the Quran uh, sorry the Torah in Hebrew so the excuse you gave me have nothing to do with, with the real with reality so secondly you said that uh, uh, he did not ask him to go and uh, to see if he is a prophet no it says if you are in doubt go and ask him if you are a prophet or not and in the same time if you remember you're a prophet he said uh, uh, in one occasion he asked he asked the Jews to bring him the Torah and he took an oath in it he took an oath on the Torah so if if the Jews Torah is not trustworthy uh, and they don't have the Torah which can be qualified to be considered the book of God so Muhammad was swearing by by what then he swear by the Torah if you go in the hadith in the book of uh, uh, Sunan Abi Dawood it says that the, the prophet he said Atuni bi Torah, bi Torah. Uh, and then he said Amen to Biki so he hold the Torah between his hand and he took an oath with his hand on it same time you mentioned to me a chapter in the Quran it says uh, we will, will recite to you and you will not forget well this is very strange because you just proved to me that the Quran have a contradiction because Muhammad he said in the hadith and this is on Sahih al-Bukhari that he forgot the Quran if we go to the Quran to the Sahih al-Bukhari, we will find the following. And let me uh, give you the reference so you can open the, the, the reference with me, if you don't mind. Uh, let us see here. All right. Uh, if we go in Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 5038, uh, the Prophet he heard, uh, uh, Allah Messenger, heard a man reciting the Quran at night and said, May Allah bestow his mercy on him as he reminded me has reminded me of such and such verses and such and such surahs which was uh, which why uh, which I was caused to forgot and you just told me that Allah he told the prophet in the Quran that we will recite you and you will never forget so how Allah is a true God and Muhammad is a true prophet and he promised him that he will never forget the Quran but yet your prophet he witnessed by himself that he forgot the Quran as you see in Sahih Bukhari hadith number 538 and this is a Sahih hadith go ahead please hello do you hear me yeah now I hear do you, you hear me uh, you heard me in full oh. about what I said Yes. All right. Yes. So how how this happened? How he forgot the Quran, and you are the one who quote for me that verse saying, "Sunni Quraka fala tansa," which means we will recite you, and you will never forget the Quran. But your prophet witnessed that he forgot the Quran. Yes. Uh, when uh, God said to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, uh, ask uh, people of the book and uh, this, we don't uh, Torah and Bible uh, don't was translate in Arabic in uh, the time of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So when the Torah and the Bible was translated into Arabic, it is uh, uh, since uh, two hundred years. Yeah. Uh, so okay. Yeah, yeah. So what you said is not valid because the people they have in his time they have the Torah in the Hebrew and they have the Torah the the, the Injil either in Greek or Aramaic, and both languages the Messiah he spoke. So how we know that uh, Prophet Muhammad, when he catch Torah and hold in his hand, 
uh, he mean uh, the Torah that uh, it is uh, in the, this uh, age, in this uh, time. Well, you are it is different. My friend, the Muhammad, he received the verse in his time, and he was talking in his time, and we are talking about Muhammad in his time, not today. So you are the one who said to me, that oh yes Allah he told him that but he don't mean because they don't have the Torah and their language Muhammad is swearing in his time not today so how we know how we know we are not talking about the Torah at then we are not talking about the Torah at now we are talking about the Torah in the hand of Muhammad and yet Muhammad been asked to go and ask the Christians and the Jews if he is a prophet or not but your answer is well they have the translation like you know uh, translation of the Torah this is not really Torah this is not what happened in the, in the time of Muhammad. There was no Arabic Torah. There was no uh, no Injil Torah uh, uh, Injil in Arabic. And you are the one who just mentioned that. So here, your prophet need to 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 answer for us how he need to go and ask if he is a prophet by the authority of the Jews and the Christians. When all of us we knew that the Jews and the Christians refuse him. I don't understand uh, your request, my friend. When I asked you in the beginning, you said, "Well, yeah, you know, he asking the 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 the, uh, the to ask the Jew and the Christians, but the, you know, remember, you don't have the Torah in the, in the original language. You have it translated in languages, and you have uh, the, so this is not the book the book of uh, Allah, and the Injil is not the book of Allah because this is a translation. So the translation now problem is solved because translation is exist today. In the time of Muhammad, he have around him." The Injil in the original language and the Torah in the original language, and I quote for you two example where Warq ibn Nawfal was translating the, the the Injil into Arabic from the original language. So in the time of Muhammad, everybody around him don't have an Arabic Bible. Nobody have that, and Warq was the first one who to write some, not even translation the, of everything. And then we find the Hadith where your Prophet is uh, 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 taken an oath in the Torah. And then additional to that, you said to me that the Prophet Allah told him that we will recite to you and you will not forget. And then we have a hadith that says that the Prophet said that he forgot the Quran and he is blessing a guy for he reminded him not only such and such verses, he reminded him that he caused to, to forget such and such surahs, whole surahs, he forgot them totally. Which is proven to us that Muhammad is not a Prophet because you are the one who quote for me the verse saying, we will recite to you and Allah is talking here. And you will never forget forget what Quran and I think you agree you are a sheikh you are not anyone so Allah he promised him he will not forget the Quran yet Muhammad he forgot the Quran and the one who witnessed for that is Muhammad himself and the one is narrating the hadith is Aisha and this is Sahih al-Bukhari and this is a Sahih hadith so Muhammad cannot be a prophet according to the Quran for he is asking the Christians at that time to witness for him and the Christian at that time they refuse him and the Jews at that time they refused him. Muhammad he said, if ten Jews only believe in me, the whole Jews will believe. And I can show you the hadith. Only if ten if ten Jews. But Muhammad could not make ten Jews believe in him. Go ahead, please. Uh, it is not a true hadith that uh, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam forget uh, of uh, any Quran. What do you mean, Sahir Bukhari? Uh, a friend, Sahir Bukhari. Now, where is the hadith? Okay, let me give it to you in Pal Talk. Please open it and read it. Here we go. This is the hadith in okay. Sahih Bukhari. Is uh, not the true hadith. My um, friend, it's Sahih Bukhari. He, How you can say so, that? So, so in uh, if it was in Bukhari, uh, we don't uh, believe in this hadith. Oh, Bukhari and under, not, uh, under what authority you don't believe in hadith? If the hadith is says Sahih. Even it's it's accepted by all the scholars of Islam, and here we go. You are a sheikh. Can you show me one scholar reject this hadith? Yes, there is uh, many uh, scholars uh, reject this. Uh, where, hadith. where it says this hadith is weak? Can you show me? Oh, uh, could uh, first I see I read. I want to read uh, this hadith. All right, go ahead. So, Okay, <coughs> you sent me to Baltok. I want to uh, open this. this
Stellaben. Yes, the hadith uh, said. حدثنا أحمد قال عن عائشة قال سمع رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم رجلا يقرأ من في سورة بالليل فقال يا رحمه الله لقد أذكرني كذا وكذا آية كنت أنسيتها من سورة كذا وكذا May Allah bestow him mercy on him as he has reminded me of such and such uh, verses of the such and such surah which I was caused uh, to forget. Uh, uh, according to this hadith, uh, so look, not uh, all hadith in Bukhari, we are sure that is a true hadith. Uh, and the scholar uh, said to that, not all hadith uh, in Bukhari is the true hadith. There is uh, some hadith in Bukhari not uh, strong. It is uh, hadith daif. Can you show hadith. me? Can you show me a proof that this hadith is daif? I want you to show me oh. because I have this hadith from Sahih Bukhari. I have from Sahih Muslim. Yes. I have it from many sources, and not even a single person said that this is a weak hadith. Uh, this is the first time I hear it from you. Uh, friend, uh, Bukhari not as Quran. Bukhari not as Quran. Bukhari my friend, my is friend, contained. My, my friend, this is not the, the question. You said to me this hadith is da'if. Can you show me where you got this answer from? I mean, each time we speak to a Muslim about something, even if it is say sahih, he said it's it is not sahih. So you know, when you say to me, you are you are a sheikh, you are not just anyone I'm speaking to. This is why actually I was happy to talk to you. So because usually Muslims, you know, they say things is not true, and they you know, uh, I'm expecting from you. Uh, to give me a reference, the same as I'm giving you a reference, to show me where you got that this is a weak hadith. Can you give me a reference to sponsor what you just said? Now, uh, I don't, yeah, it is... Uh, it's not exist. It's not exist. Let us face it. It's not exist. There's no such take a thing. Me time, take me time to... I will give you 10 years. Give you... I will give you 10 years. You know, you can come next year and give me where it says that this hadith is weak. Uh, as long you have yes. no, as, as yes. long you have yes. no reference, okay. As long you have yes. no reference, uh, you can take ten years from now and give me a reference. But let me show you something additional okay. to that. As long you, oh. this, this one you have oh. no answer for it. What about the Quran? Okay. Even the Quran says that Allah will cause people to forget the Quran. Isn't it Allah who said in the Quran that any verses we abrogated, we are going to make something better or similar or you know. Uh, how how Allah he promised Muhammad that he will not forget the Quran and he in the same in the same Quran says وَمَا نَنْسَخُ مِنْ آيَةٍ أَوْ نُنْسِهَا نَأْتِي بِخَيْرٍ مِنْهَا أَوْ مِثْلِهَا and this is in chapter 2 verse number 106 which mean any verses we abrogate we are going we are going or, or cause to be forgotten cause to be forgotten but according to the hadith you know Muhammad he forgot the Quran uh, uh, and according to the Quran that the shaitan is the one who caused you to forget the Quran shaitan caused you to forget the word of Allah here in the verse Allah saying none of our revelation do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten but we substitute something better and similar so here we will find a contradiction again for what Allah said he promised him Muhammad that you will not forget the Quran but he is saying and he's promising that he will cause the Quran to be forgotten when Allah he said the Quran will be forgotten. He mean all the Muslims or he mean Muhammad or he mean all together that if he calls somebody to forget the Quran, all of you will forget the Quran. Yes, Sheikh? Yes, Sheikh. Hello? Hello, do you hear me? 
Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are switching to your room. I think you are asking them to maybe to help help, help you. Uh, focus on you, please. So how Allah here, He made He He promised that He will cause people to forget the revelation. And I'm asking now, when Allah He said, "I will cause you to forget the Quran," He was talking to Muhammad alone, talking to all the Muslims, talking to Muhammad and the Muslims. What do you think? Uh, please repeat your uh, question my friend when when Allah in the Quran he said Whatever revelation we cause we abrogate or cause to be forgotten and this is the part is important for me cause to be forgotten When he said we will cause to be forgotten Allah was speaking he will cause Muhammad to forget the Quran or he was saying all the Muslims will forget the Quran including Muhammad No, it is uh, for Muhammad. It is for it, it is, is for Muhammad. It, it is for Muhammad. Okay. So how this is yes. a promise for Muhammad that he Allah will make him forget the Quran, but you are the one who quote for me a verse saying that Allah will never make him forget the Quran. This is a contradiction. You are the one who said to me, So how we will recite to you and you will never forget. And now he's saying and you just said that this is was for Muhammad. Allah will make him forget the Quran. So how he promised him he will never forget the Quran and now he is you are saying no This is was for Muhammad Allah saying to Muhammad. I will make you forget the Quran and The Quran remember said that if this book is not from Allah You will find a lot of contradiction in it And this is a very big contradiction if I say to you I promise you I will never let you forget anything of the Quran and then in different verse I say to you No, you will forget you will see I will make you forget Quran. That is a clear contradiction the mic is yours Hello. Uh, Sheikh, I don't hear you. <laughs> yeah, I think he's asking the, his chat room for help. Hello? Yeah, Sheikh, if you want to call somebody to get an answer, I have no problem. Go ahead. I think he is talking to somebody. Are you there, Sheikh? Oh boy, the guy is gone. Guys, why wasn't I not? Did I do anything wrong? He's gone. Da -da 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 you see, I told you when I debate a shake how easy it is. Did I tell you? Did I tell you? Debating a Muslim kid is very hard because he can play around. Now this guy is very embarrassed, and so he's like, oh, bo, 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 boy, la 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 la." I wasn't planning to shoot in the head. I just started. I mean, this is not fun. I don't, I don't feel good actually. No, we are calling in, in, uh, in Pal Talk. I, I hope he will be back. I hope it just like was disconnect or something, you know. Accident happened, my friend. Accident happened. Let us hope it's an accident. But this is why he is, you know, he go to ask. He have his room. He have a big chat room in, in Pal Talk, and supposedly he have supporters, and supposedly he's a sheikh. I like, you know, those people, they praise him, big deal, like, you know, sheikh, yeah, sheikh. Yeah, right. I have no idea you are talking to who. You have no idea. He is online. Hold on. Let me call him. Hello? Hello? 
Prince, do you hear me? Yes, I Christian hear you now. Prince. Thanks God you are back. Uh, you know, I was wondering what happened. So do you like me to repeat anything from what I said or you get me all? Yes. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> it's uh, difficult to me to continue in English uh, because... You're not doing uh, fine. I your English is fine. The... My friend, your English is that, very fine. That, Nobody's complaining. Uh, I'm not complaining. Okay, you are okay. complaining, you know. But I... Uh, so, uh, okay, uh, I was told that uh, this course will be in Arabic. Do the, I was told no, that the, you are the person, uh, my friend, the person who spoke to you. She doesn't Arabic. Speak. So, so, so Sheikh, uh, and Sheikh, you speak English better than me. Also, I can tell, and you have no problem to express yourself. And why twenty minutes ago, twenty eight minutes ago, English was not a problem. No, if you and want now, to uh, answer you in Arabic, I will answer you. If uh, also no, I want people to hear your answer, yeah. my friend. I, this is not for me. I want the answer for me. Okay. I want people to hear your answer. You are the sheikh. You are our guest, and really, I want you to answer. People here, they are waiting for you to give an answer. And now, changing the language is like saying, "Okay, well, I don't want to tell people what I'm going to say to you in Arabic. Let us finish it. Your English is fine. Nobody is complaining about your English. Everybody understands you perfectly. So please go ahead and give us the answer in English, please." Uh, you don't tell me your uh, question, so I... Uh, I tell you my question. I, yeah, let me yeah. repeat again. Let me repeat again. Let me repeat again. No problem. You said in, okay, in okay. chapter, uh, chapter 87, verse number 6, when you did respond to me, you said, We will recite to you Quran, and you will not forget. You will not forget. And this is what you quote for me. You know, you are the one who quote that for me. Then I said to you, Well, in the hadith, your prophet, he forgot. And this is a sahih hadith, this is not a weak hadith. Then you could not respond to the hadith, proving to me that this is a weak as you claim. And then I said to you, well, in the Quran, in different verse in the Quran, in the chapter of Al-Baqarah, it says that whoever, uh, uh, any verses Allah, he abrogate or cause to be forgotten. I ask you, who is the one Allah here is speaking to, he will cause to be forgotten the Quran, the Muslims or Muhammad? You said yourself Muhammad. But this is a contradiction. For the chapter you gave me, chapter 87, verse number 6, where you quote for me saying, We will recite to thee, and you will not forget. This is a promise of God. If God, he said to me, you will never forget. That's it. I will be the biggest memory in the world. This is God talking, Almighty. So how he is the same person, supposed to Allah, saying, I will recite to you Quran, and you will not forget. And then he is the same Allah in the other verse in the Quran saying, well, you know what? I will give you Quran and even I will cause you to forget. This is a clear contradiction. The mic is yours. He hung up. He hung up. He hung up. He noticed that this is a heavy weight and he cannot do it. He just noticed he is debating who. He thought this is just a Christian guy. He will say to him, okay, satanic verses, the prophet, he married Aisha at JH for six. This is what he thought, you know. You know what I mean? And do you remember what I told you? I said to you, I don't have any questions for him. Whatever he say, I will ask him from what he said. Correct? You remember? Do you remember? You asked me what you will. Uh, I, I said I'm not going to ask him anything. He, uh, he will say whatever he say. Whatever you say is going to use against you in the court of law. You are talking to Christian Prince. What Arabic? You know what? What Arabic will do? His English is very good. You know. Suddenly now the, the English is good, and now he agreed to answer. Okay, give me the question again. All right, let us see. He's calling. Yeah, Sheikh Rohi. Do you hear me, my friend? Hello? Hello? Yes, Sheikh Rohi. Go Hello. ahead. We are waiting for your answer, please. For, uh, 
فانت اي انا اقترح يعني ان تؤجل هذه المناقشه الى وقت اخر اي suggest to delay this discuss to another time what is the reason sheikh rohi okay if there's a problem i mean we just started and you are ready for it and you've been told a few days ago about it so why will delay that for yes. a different time yes uh, tell me your question i just told you the question uh, i don't know will... like i mean i give you the question already i repeat many no. times Oh, you mean you are going to come back with the answer after a few days? No, not a few days. Uh, no. Okay, now, now. I just, uh, okay, let me repeat my question again, my friend. And there's no need to delay anything. You are the one who said to me, when you did respond to me, that Allah, he said to Muhammad, We will recite to you Quran and you will not forget. You shall not forget. This is the promise of God. You are the one who quote this verse from me, remember? And this is in chapter 87, verse number 6. Then I showed you the hadith from Sahih al-Bukhari, which is very strong and not weak, as you said. And there's no proof of this is a weak. There's not even single scholar say this is weak. And you said it is weak, but you cannot prove it. We let that go. And I gave you 10 years to find me the answer about this hadith being weak. Then I said to you, in the chapter of al-Baqarah, Verse number 106, it says that Allah is going to cause Muhammad to forget the Quran. I ask you, is this verse? Allah speaking, he will cause the Muslim to forget the Quran or the Prophet to forget the Quran. You said the Prophet. So now we have two verses. One, uh, one verse saying, Allah, he said to Muhammad, you will not forget the Quran. I will give you Quran and you will never forget the Quran. And we have other verse in the Quran in chapter, in chapter 2, verse 106. Allah saying, according to you, not to me. You are the one who said that this is about Muhammad. Allah will make him forget the Quran. So how Allah, he promised Muhammad, he will never forget the Quran. And Allah, he is saying to Muhammad, I will cause you to forget the Quran. The Quran says, if this is a book not from God, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. And this is a clear contradiction. So this is my question, how you can answer this contradiction. The mic is yours. I said to you the hadith you would ask to um, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam forget the Quran it is not a true hadith you did not give me a proof my friend uh, I gave you a proof that this is Sahih al-Bukhari and this is a Sahih you did yes, not provide me any uh, proof me give me time to uh, no problem I will give you 10 years 10 years from now now let us go to the verse in the Quran how two verses contradict each other 10, ten, ten years yeah 10 years to bring me the, the proof that this is a weak hadith no, not 10 years, 10 uh, minutes, I tell oh, Okay, you. no problem. What about now the two verses now here? What verses? Well, I just told you there is two verses contradict each other. One verse saying Allah will cause Muhammad to forget the Quran. And one verse, you are the one who quoted for me, chapter 87, verse number 6. Allah said to him, we will give you Quran and you will never forget the Quran. So how Allah he promised Muhammad to not to forget the Quran and Allah he caused Muhammad to forget the Quran. Not oh, where Allah caused Muhammad to forget the Quran. My friend, you are the one who said to me, said, you are the one who said that to me. I quote for you at the chapter of Al-Baqarah and I read it for you in Arabic. There, so which means they cannot claim no, that. No, you you don't, you, did I read for you the you verse now? You yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't uh, understand the, what it means of Nasr. My friend, we are talking about forgetting, not Nasr now. You said to me, I ask you, I ask you, when Allah he says, I will cause to be forgotten, he was talking to all the Muslims or Muhammad alone, or Muhammad and the Muslim together, you said to Muhammad, you are the one who said that, and everybody heard this. You said, you confirmed that this was a promise. Allah saying, I will cause you to forget Muhammad. It was not for all the Muslims. So now we have a problem. I'm not talking about the abrogation. I'm talking about Allah will cause Muhammad to forget in chapter 2, verse 106, while in chapter 87, verse number 6, Allah saying to Muhammad, promising him that you shall not forget the Quran. How that can work, Allah in the same time saying two opposite things. One verse saying to Muhammad, I will cause you to forget the Quran. And the other verse saying, I will never make you forget the Quran. Truly, I don't understand you. My friend, I'm sure you understand me very well. And let me let me give you the question in Arabic. And please, but give me the answer in, in, in English. Ya Sheikh, anta qult bi anna surah 
سنقراك فلا تنسى لا تنسى تقول بان يعني تستشهد على محمد بانه لن ينسى ثم انا قلت لك في البقره الايه تقول اذا نسخ الله اي ايه او تسبب في نسيانها سالتك من من هو الذي سوف ينسى قلت محمد انت قلت محمد سالتك هل كان هذا هذا الوعد او هذا الكلام للرسول فقط او للمسلمين او كان لمحمد والمسلمين معا انت اجبت وقلت لمحمد فقط الان لدينا تناقض ايه تقول انه لن ينسى ولن ينسيه الله القران سنقراك فلا تنسى وايه اخرى تقول سوف ننسيك القران فكيف نجمع بين القرانين المتناقضين i give you now the question in arabic please the answer in english go ahead In the first ayah, سنقرئك فلا تنسى, it is uh, for Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. Yes. In the two ayah, uh, ما ننسخ من آية أو ننسها, نأتي بخير منها. Is Allah told Muhammad in this ayah, uh, you will forget? Yes. No. You are the one who said no, so. No, no, in this ayah. I ask you, my friend, I the, ask you, I ask you. So, so read, read, read this ayah in English. Uh, my, my friend, English. my friend, I ask you, I ask it you, not I, I ask you four times. Muhammad. My friend, you are the one who said it's for Muhammad, I ask you. Is this is for Muhammad or for all the Muslims you said for Muhammad? I, no, no, I, I uh, tell you the sanuqri'uka fala tansa, it is for Muhammad. Uh, and no, this one, I was reading this one, my friend. I was reading this one and I asked you. When Allah He said any revelation we abrogate or cause to be forgotten, is this is for Muhammad only or for the Muslims? Okay, so now let us let us fix this. Okay, so you made a mistake there, and now you notice that this is horrible. Let us fix it. So now I will repeat the question again. When Allah He says I will cause you to forget the Quran, He was speaking to Muhammad and the Muslims, or only the Muslims, or only Muhammad. The first ayah for Muhammad. Okay, the, the second, second one. I am not for Muhammad. It was for who? It's for who? Muhammad. It's for who? Uh, it is for uh, the all nation of uh, Islam. Is that including Muhammad? What's mean? Is that including Muhammad? No, no. Uh, let me tell you the ayah in uh, English, so you will. Uh, My know. friend, no problem. You can read as much as you want, but I'm asking you a very simple question. Is make it clear for me. Is Muhammad included between those who will forget the Quran? Yes or no? Give me a, a confirmed answer, please. May, uh, may, may you uh, ask me in Arabic? I uh, will answer you in English. You, uh, you, you know, come on, you, you got the answer. You, you know, it's very simple. I'm asking you: Is this this is a promise? Is this is a promise to forget the Quran only for Muhammad? Or for Muhammad and the Muslims, or for Muhammad for the Muslims only. You said for the Muslims. Is that a confirmation? So Muhammad is not included between those who will forget. Uh, one minute, man. It is a problem in my computer. It, oh, no it is no open anything. It. Uh, not open anything. Just a minute. Mm. Let me restart. Uh, start the computer and uh, no problem. To you, okay? No problem. No problem. Go ahead. Okay. Oh boy, I did not start yet. I don't want him to run. Honest to God, I did not do anything yet. I did not even touch my hair yet. By the way, I have hair, not like Sam Shamoon, you know, just to let you know. Man, my hair is covering my, my face. Unbelievable, very long. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Because I'm drinking camel urine, so it's growing so fast. I mean, you want to debate me? You must be kidding me. I don't debate myself. Once I debated myself, I lost. I'm telling you. Don't do it. Don't ever try. 
<sighs> Isn't guys he said that this is for the prophet? Are you are you with this? It's recorded, right? He said that more than once, and I asked him the same question more than once, and now he noticed what is coming, like oh 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 oh. Right? He said that you remember. No, no, I don't want to speak Arabic because if I speak Arabic always, you know, then he was answering me in Arabic and then he got out of it. You know, I mean, the whole, what the whole point, I, you know, for me, I'm not I'm not here to prove to myself that the Muslims are lying to you. I'm here to help you guys. All my what I'm doing here is to help you, those who don't speak Arabic. I don't need it really. For me, I, mean, I know that they are liars. The sheikh or not a sheikh, it doesn't matter. All of them, they are liars. But it's going to be hard for him as a sheikh because now he's recorded and he knew that. When the Muslim they see this debate now after we finish this guy will look so horrible. He will lose his career I'm, I'm telling you he just lost his career Yeah, the debate is over I did not even start no he's coming back supposedly he's restarting his computer what restarting the computer have to do with this I mean, what is that? Now, after we finish, please download the video and share it everywhere. All right. Uh, don't forget that. Uh, it's your fault, Rene. Rene, you are the one who caused this guy the pro. This guy, he do not know who is a Christian prince. He heard of me, but he do not know. He never spoke to me before. If he knew, he would never do it. You see, this is why you need. You need always to uh, uh, when when uh, when somebody is speaking to you, your brain, your brain should be studying what he is saying. All right, listen carefully, listen deeply. Don't be like uh, many people think. Like even when they, when you read, we just read things. We don't really uh, look carefully on it. Don't let it go that easy. Scan it. Let your brain work. God gave you a gift use it most of people they let things go as nothing nothing they heard nothing because they are not even listening Ruhi his name is Ruhi Sheikh Ruhi he's very well known by the way he have a room in Pal talk he go to Christian rooms to debate them but uh, you know Islam buster today. We bust Islam every day. What are you talking about? And I was speaking to him nicely, correct, guys? Did I? I was speaking to him nicely, very, you know, so he have no excuse not to come back. There's no excuse. Actually, I did not eat yet. I ate something hot, you know. Uh, uh, I I cooked food. I tasted it, but I think I cannot eat it because look, I added too much hot uh, paper. I mean, I need to to add uh, to, to invite some Mexican to eat this food. I don't know what to do with it. it Look like uh, I don't know what happened. It was so hot. Like what? Uh, what I did? Yeah. Yeah, you know the liquid one the hot paper. I, I never tried this before so I thought like if you put a half of cup I don't use this before like, you know, so I said let me add more and more and more I like the red color, you know of the uh, Macaroni it turned to be very red Yeah, honey, I know I put honey everywhere I'm not eating the guy is not coming back. I think Let me call him. <clears throat> He's online. Hello? 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 All right. I hear you, Sheikh. Assalamu alaikum. Go ahead. Okay. 
ماي فريند بتاعي يعني ريبيت تو يو ات ات از ديفيكالت تو مي تو كونتينيو ان انجلش بيكوز اي واز تولد ذات ديسكاس ويل بي ان عربيك اف يو وونت ديسكاس ان انجلش ات از نوت ا بروبلم تيل مي يور كويستشن اند افتر تو دايز وي ويل ديسكاس وانس اجين اوكي اي جاست جيف يو ذا كويستشن كان بي كم باك تو مي افتر تو دايز نو بروبلم Take your time. Okay. okay. No problem. Okay. Th th thank you, Sheikh, okay. for, for calling me. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Thank you, thank my you. friend. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. After two days. <laughs> After two days. And look, you see how the lie work. Tell me the question, and I will answer after two days. And suppose he's English, he doesn't understand the question, but now he did not ask me to say the, the question again because he understands it very well to the point he will come back after two days. But trust me, he will not come back in 10 years. He, he might come back, by the way, because some people they like gambling. I mean, when you do gamble and you lose, you, what do you do? You gamble again. You know what I mean? Do, do you understand what I'm saying? When you do gambling, you lose. So what do you do? You play again. This is the this is the logic of a gambler. This is why they come to debate me again. Uh, uh, but the smart one will not do it again. I mean, that, that's it. Never again. You better be smart. Obviously, you are no match. You are no match, my friend. What are you doing? What are you doing? This guy, he is now. This is the. This is one of the sad nights in his life. He was saying to himself, "What I did to myself today? What happened? How this happened?" And he was saying to us in the beginning, when a Muslim he pray in the morning, his his face will be glowing like what? What a glowing? What shiny? My friend, when I pray in the morning, my my face go blue. I mean, who care? What does this have to do with our topic? I ask him, what is the proof that Islam is from God? He says, when we pray in the morning, my face is blue. I mean, okay. Uh, so why you ask your wife to put ten kilograms of makeup? What, what, what? Yeah, he just lost his career, especially if this video is spread around. That's why I'm saying, guys, uh, debate, debate uh, download it right away because I'm sure the Muslims they try to get rid of it. I'm telling you, they will try to get rid of it, download it, and share it with everybody. Uh, <clears throat> no, download and down and load, not share only, download. Because you see, the Muslims they hate me. I mean, you don't you don't believe how much they love me. Unbelievable, unbelievable. <laughs> I can't even describe to you how much they love me. And I guess you understand why. You know, guys. Once I was in the Philippines, and there's a guy he sat next to me, and then I don't know, like you know, the topic start talking about Islam. He's a Muslim, and this guy he have no idea. No idea he's talking to. We do not know he is a Christian prince, you know. So he is right away when a Muslim he sees someone is an Arab Christian, huh? He get angry right away. He will start debating you about why you are a Christian, how you believe that Jesus is God, the man is God. So you know, I, I he started talking. I'm listening. I said, he said, do you know anything? I said, ah, I will learn from you. Go ahead, tell me. I'm learning. The same as I said to this guy, you know, go ahead. <laughs> and then you should say, I said, okay, can I answer you now? He said, yeah, sure, sure. And he was so confident about himself, very much. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, he felt like he is just, he is just being grabbed and put inside the freezer coming from the ice days. Anyway, guys. This is just is just to show you that when we say Islam is a cult, we have a million reasons. This is a shake. Do you see how the shake was shaking? And this is why I say to you, debating a Muslim kid is a lot harder. Because a Muslim kid he can play as much games. This guy, it was very embarrassing. This is why he decided to ret retreat and go back home.
yeah i will end the video here so you guys you can download it and i will start a new broadcast after five minutes you want to come back so maybe we can get another caller what do you think five minutes from now refresh youtube and you will find a new page for a new uh, uh you know uh, live uh, debate and i hope we will get a new muslim to call me and as i said guys seriously i wasn't planning to like to spank from the beginning but i did nothing yet i mean i just start touching my teeth and they are not even brushed yet so we will see with the coming one i will be back in five minutes please refresh your page after five minutes and join me and don't forget christ is lord and islam is false and i mean to that see you soon again bye bye